Uh, hey everyone, it's uh, Troy Jackson with Weekly Update. Uh, we're down here at Bath Ironworks today at the picket line. Uh, certainly encouraging Bath Ironworks to uh, get back to the table uh, so that uh, workers can get a fair contract. Uh, we get these ships built and uh, everything go the way it should go. And so uh, that's what we're doing here today. This week we had the Criminal Justice uh, Committee uh, meeting uh, along with the Judiciary Committee. I want to acknowledge that the issues we will be discussing today are deeply important, even more so than usual, given what's happening across the state and across the country right now. In the main legislature, we represent individuals of all backgrounds, ethnicities, religions, and beliefs. Everyone deserves to be safe in their communities and heard by their government. Our goal here today is to cover a lot of ground, get answers, provide clarity for Maine people. Next week on Tuesday, we'll be doing a health care panel. It's going to be hosted by Consumers for Affordable Health Care. Uh, we affectionately know them as CAKE. We're going to do it with our great friends, AARP, uh, inviting Senator Ned Claxton from Auburn uh, to be a panelist, uh, talk about obviously the challenges we all know and uh, some of the things that we're able to do this session, but, but certainly some of the things that we need to do to make healthcare more accessible uh, for more people in this state and in this country, and which is like a huge part of uh, why you know, we're in the legislature. It's like our top, top goal to make sure our healthcare is accessible to people. Certainly look forward to you guys uh, you know, joining, listening, and watching, uh, and we'll definitely have that advertised uh, throughout the week here. You know, another thing that I certainly want to bring up, I mean, I got my mask right here, I took it off, uh, for this interview, um, but you know, across this country, COVID-19 cases are exploding. I think in Texas, in three days, they had 22,000 cases. Um, you know, while wearing your mask is not fun, and I certainly don't enjoy it, it's definitely one of the easiest things that we can do to try and keep uh, these cases down. And in Maine, despite a lot of people's anxiety and, and dislike for some of the policies, uh, we have done a good job. So let's, let's try and be respectful of other people and, and whenever possible, uh, wear your mask. It's probably one of the easiest things you can do for your friends, family, and your community. So tonight, I'm going to be on a Zoom conference uh, with the AFL-CIO. It's their COPE convention. Uh, typically, this is one of the things I really enjoy going through personally. Definitely my you know, good friends, a lot of people that uh, you know, I always like to see. Uh, they're going to be talking about uh, some of the things that we did over the last two years. Uh, to help support working class people, and, uh, and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, and that really leads me uh, to our Dirigo uh, network update. Uh, this week is going to be uh, with myself and uh, Senator Eloise Vitelli uh, talking about what's going on down here in Bath. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that also. And uh, you know, thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you next week again. Take care, everyone. Nice job there, brother. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Troy Jackson. I'm down here in uh, Bath at uh, Local 6 for the picket line. EIW has been an important part of this community for decades. And the people who are here on strike today are here to protect their future, their family's future. The whole contract was printed. It was given to every member to read. We did not coerce 3,200 of the 3,700 people that voted no for this contract to go on strike. There was no dialogue. They never had the intent to, to negotiate a contract. They gave us a script and said, you need to follow it. They don't want to talk about subcontracting. They don't want to talk about a nine articles in that contract that, that are going to get stripped of seniority. They don't want to talk about our problems and why we're out here. Bath working is a huge driver in the state of Maine, and, and we all understand that and wanted to. Uh, that's why we actually supported the ship tax credit a couple sessions ago. But at the same time, the workers here are wicked important too. And, and they have a right to be heard and they have a right to have a fair contract. And the other thing about this is that Local 6, the union, has said repeatedly that they're willing to get back to the table. They want to get back to work as soon as they can, but they want to be able to do it 
with the dignity and the support of their union. So I'm really encouraging Bath Ironworks to take up their offer, talk about the whole contract, not just the things they want to talk about, but let's get the people back to the table, get people back to work with a fair contract, something that everyone in Maine can be happy with. Bath is known for best built ships, and I'm here to support the workers who live up to that slogan every day. Because we all know that Bath built is best built.